Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an OG, welcome back. Yes, you guys, it's another speed build. I told you I'd be back with them, so don't act like you're surprised. Please don't. <laughs> All right, so we have another greenhouse type build. Now, I did tell you in our last greenhouse build that I had this one up on the gallery. Yes, both of them will be available to download on the gallery if this is your thing. I know some people don't like to play with restaurants because they can be a little buggy, but be a little brave. Try me out. Download this bad boy and put it in your game. You won't be sorry. I think this is a perfect place to inspire romance in your sims, especially if you like playing that type of storyline in your game. I do. I love love and I love to have my sims fall in love. So if you're into it, I think you'll enjoy this restaurant. Especially if you're into the French look. This is a very old French look or aesthetic. And um, I went with something I saw on the internet. I go to Google all the time for inspirations for my builds. Um, I don't always replicate them in the game. I go with pieces here and there that inspire me and try to mesh them together kind of like what cc creators do with clothing meshes meshes in the game um i do the same thing with my builds and i was just inspired by a french villa and i thought this would be a perfect look for a restaurant in this dead smack in the middle of windenburg just like my last build um again i was kind of going for a specific look it i didn't accomplish that with my first greenhouse build so we started again and we have le gabriel that's the name of this restaurant. I don't know. I like I liked how it rolled off the tongue. You know that you know the R's kind of roll. I love 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 the Spanish and the French um, vibe. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It's bright. It's airy in a lot of places because of all the windows. Of course, there is dining on the outside if you want the fresh air, the al fresca type uh, meal. Uh, and then we have our water feature. We always have to have a water feature, guys. You cannot have a, rom a romantic restaurant, use your vowels, without a water feature so I added the little pond you'll see that later um, but I love the open aspect of this build I even have a private dining area for those sims that want a little more quiet atmosphere and don't want to dine with all the other folks in the building but that's like by special request so if you got an unsociable sim like me, I'm, I can be pretty unsociable. Uh, that's the perfect spot for you because uh, let's be, let's face it, not all of us want to have to deal with kids running around, um, parents that are yelling at their kids because they're not eating their food. You just want a quiet space to enjoy each other's company. So that little spot up at the top is for that sim and uh, that sim significant other. So by all means, reserve your spot today because that uh, little cubby hole is always uh, taken but this building is dead smack in the middle of the modern part of Windenburg and why I put it there it just makes sense because this entire area is being refurbished right and most of the buildings are modernized but this is a piece of history that uh, the citizens of Windenburg fought for. Not everyone was happy with the modern modernization of downtown Windenburg. And let's count how many times I say Windenburg. When this building went up for auction, the citizens of Windenburg were highly upset. We're not all about losing another intricate part of their history. So they fought tooth and nail to buy this building. And lo and behold, uh, a couple Sims got together and bought the place and restored it. I think the citizens of Windenburg are about 
uh, renewal and conservation. And I this is like the perfect example of how that can be done. So this is why I decided to keep this as old style as possible and still have a little bit of modernization in it by upgrading the roofing and adding all the extra windows and the water feature. So it's still old school. It still has a romantic vibe and it still fits in the downtown area. I guess, let me know. What do you think? Is uh, Does it fit? Does it suit this area? If not, if you're not down with this particular build in this area, you can always move it. I believe this is a 30 by 20 lot. Um, so there are plenty of other spaces that you can place this restaurant. It just suits down here for what I'm accomplishing. So how's your weekend been? Mine's been pretty good. It's been kind of slow. I honestly have not done a whole lot this weekend. I've been playing a lot of war, World of Warcraft um, lately, and I've been enjoying my time away from The Sims. Um, I just kind of needed that that little bit of a break it gets it wears and tears on me if I continue to play the same game over and over again but World of Warcraft was my first gaming love no it's not my first gaming love let me tell the truth um and shame the devil it it was World of Warcraft was my first addiction as far as games are concerned and I have a old friend to thank for that but um, I have to go back and play so I play a resto shaman and we recently moved over to alliance from horde we've been a long time um, we've been long time horde players and we just decided okay it's time to switch over and check the other side of the story and see what's coming up with the next expansion because if you guys are our uh wild players you know that another expansion is about to be announced at this year's blizzcon so i'm really excited about that and uh, i'm just excited about this the end of this year because there are a ton of games that are being released like Red Dead Redemption. Uh, the second one is being released on PC. Got to pick that up. That's coming out on the 5th of November. Of course, uh, there's an upcoming patch for Minecraft. Bees, yes, will be added to the game. Um, I don't know if that's for Java or Bedrock or both. I still don't understand how that works. Uh, those of you that are avid Minecraft players, let me know in the comments how that's working. Is it both Bedrock and Java or is it just Bedrock? Um, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll play both, either one, but I would like to have bees in my Java edition as well. And what else is coming out? Um, uh, shoot, I forgot the name of the game, but it's by the company that created Fallout, the original company. We all know that that Bethesda has taken over that game, but, uh, or over that IP, but they have a new game comp coming out. That's very similar to it. It's more outer sci-fi though. So it's based in outer space. I can't think of it right now. I don't know why I'm driving a blank, but that's coming out next couple weeks and that's going to be available on Xbox game pass. So, you know, I'm going to download that game. Um, so yeah, you probably did not come here to listen to uh, gaming news, but I'm just, you know, conversating with you guys, let you know what I'm into besides The Sims. You can probably tell by watching my channel that I love other games besides Maxis games. I am a big fan of Bioware games. I'm hoping that they can redeem themselves with the next Dragon Age game. I hope so. I hope they don't go the way that other company or studios at EA has picked up and go bye bye. Um, because Bioware is like my Ace Boon Coon. I've been with them for a long time. L love Mass Effect, love Dragon Age. Um, I was hoping for Anthem. I was rooting for Anthem, but there's a long story behind that game and it just didn't go well. And it apparently isn't doing any better now, even with all the patches and the fixes. Sadly, that's how some games go. Um, yeah, so we're hoping we, we are crossing our fingers. Oh, and definitely hearing more leaks about university. I believe we'll see university sometime in December. So it's going to be a busy, busy, uh, 
rest of the fall and winter. So get your, uh, I guess your Christmas wish list ready to go. If you're, that's your kind of thing. I'm going to make sure I purchase that, um, that X pack for my game. I am looking for looking forward to university. I've said this before. Um, I did love playing university in Sims two and three. Now I do hope with university that they add the private school option for kids. I miss having that. Um, so maybe that'll come with it. I'm hearing that activities will be added too. So maybe that's the, um, the game pack that, Iron Siegel was hinting at because he said something about winter games. Maybe winter games will be added. I'm not sure how that would make sense, but if they're adding activities, I'm all for it. Um, I did see someone on Twitter mention uh, they're hoping that the careers, the teaching career, yes, a teaching career, guys. Look, I'm excited about that because I have been wanting a teaching career. Do you know how bad I want to build a high school that's actually working? I love the idea of adding clubs. It adds some type of realism. But if I could really create a classroom and teach in the classroom, that would be amazing. Now, that might be a huge wish list um, or a huge wish on that list of wishes. (laughs) But um, I'm still holding out. I'm, I'm holding out. I'm rooting for Maxis to get this right. I know they can do it. I know they can. I had a long conversation with Keel Sims the other day. Um, I I get a little disappointed with the community sometimes. And yeah, I'm going to take the moment to say this. I do get a little disappointed with the community because I watch people on Twitter beat up on the gurus and the developers all day long. Well, not all day long, but sometimes I get on there and I just scroll through and I'm like, yeah, it's enough for today. This is why I don't visit Twitter as much as I used to, because the negativity in the community can be overwhelming. It can be a little annoying. And it can take away from my experience because, yes, The Sims does lack the Sims 4 does lack in a lot of things, especially because it is a newer version of uh, the IP and it should we should be able to incorporate what we saw in the Sims 2 and the Sims 3. Um, I did not want open world for the Sims 4 because I know how taxing that can be on a lot of computers. Open world doesn't always work, for, especially for the Sims. Now, if it's something like Skyrim, that's fine. When you go into open world games, you'll see that a lot of it is empty. Um, because if you have a lot of activity going on at one time, it's harder on people's PCs. And the Sims is... I think they learned from the mistake of The Sims 3 that not everyone can run a game that is that active. Uh, Even The Sims 3 on my gaming computer, uh, I can't run it. So um, it just, I don't think it will work for something like The Sims 4, especially with the art style and how with the lighting and things like that. Imagine with the lighting and the graphics and then you've got hundreds of Sims doing their activities at the same time in an open world, that would that would bog down a lot of people's computers. Some people are running The Sims 4 at minimum and low settings, and there's absolutely no way they can run an open world game like The Sims. It just wouldn't work. So I do appreciate that they broke it down to the neighborhood. Now, I wish they would open up the neighborhoods, the little small you know, sections that your houses are in. That would make sense for me to be able to walk across the street and just knock on the door without having to enter into a loading screen. But, you know, they didn't do it. Now, what is on my wish list for um, the, the Sims? Do you mind if I share that with you? I think I've said this before. I've I've got a little bit of a wish list. I think I mentioned um, how I would love to see uh, a mechanic job or career. Yes, I still want that. Definitely want a more. Um, I definitely look for. I'm looking for the teaching career, but I'm hoping that it is interactive, like 
the doctor, the veterinarian, and the, um, what else is there? The scientist? Yeah. That's another active career. And is the act in the acting, the acting career, uh, for those of you who've actually played in Del Sol Valley and have played the acting career, how do you like it? I have yet to pl- use it, um, especially with my LPs. It seems like it's a lot of work and I don't have, I don't want to use, I don't want to manage a sim doing that, I suppose. I don't know. So let me know in the comments how you, if you enjoy the acting career, if you do, what do you enjoy about it? If you don't, what don't you enjoy? Or both. If you like some aspects of it and there's some that you do or don't, let me know. I, I would like to see that because again, I have no experience with it whatsoever. I have yet to really play in Del Sol Valley which is sad because I haven't used the jungle pack either. There's still so much in the game I have not seen. And I'm sure there's some some players out there that uh, fit in that same category where there's stuff that they've never played in The Sims. So they're still trying to catch up. So I still... So that makes me wonder about the people that rush through the content and then complain about there's nothing to do. There's something called imagination. I get it. Um, things were a lot, things are a lot easier to, uh, manage in the Sims 4 careers, uh, your, your, um, building your skills, not as involved as it was with the Sims 2 and the Sims 3. I totally get that. Yes, it is so much easier for you to get promoted, to progress in school. And so it makes for a lackluster experience. Um, but there's a lot of room for storytelling for those people that enjoy that. However, there are a lot of simmers that don't, they just want to play the game. Um, so I guess there has to be an even balance or a balance. And I guess that is a learning experience for Maxis. Maybe with the Sims five, they'll have learned from what they gather the information they gather with the Sims 2, 3, and 4, and maybe the Sims 5 will be even better. What I suggest is that people are give constructive criticism on the things that they would love to see in the game going forward. Um, I think the, the Guru Garages should be used uh, more for that, to do like more Q&As, um, to see what the, the Sims community is looking for. I love the survey that they did for laundry day or the, the packs to choose between what they wanted or, or the, what was the laundry day pack and you could choose what you wanted. I love that. I wish they would do more of that because I think it, well, it does involve the community, the community more and the gurus can see what we love and what we're looking for, especially with the CC creators. I think that they should have a panel of custom content creators that make these packs like Illogical Sims, Peacemaker, um, Harry, and uh, Felix Andre. You know, gather people like them who make packs and you see how successful they are and how the community responds to it. I would, you know, talk to them and they can tell you exactly the things that builders love, want, even people who aren't builders, what they want to see in their houses. Because if, if you're just downloading something from the gallery and you're not a builder, you still want to see stuff like that in your game. And if you're just fixing up a house, you still want options. So that's just my little, I don't even know if that's a rant, but that's just my thought process on what I would love to see in the game going forward. I hope I'm not sounding repetitive because um, I really enjoy The Sims for what it is. It does need a little more um, and it would make things easier for storytelling and just your regular schmegler gameplay. Um, cause sometimes I do just like to hop in the game and play, but, um, usually what ends up happening is I hurriedly get married, have some kids and I will be honest. I think I've said this before. I don't care for the, the toddlers. 
I really don't. And you probably don't care about my opinion um, in that regard. But I don't play with toddlers that much. In my LPs, I will consider playing with toddlers only for storytelling. But in my own gameplay, I don't play with toddlers. I skip over toddlerhood and head into childhood because toddlers are a lot to manage like pets. Pets and toddlers are crazy to manage. So I don't usually play with pets either. I do have them in my household sometimes just to have them in there. And I I am a true animal lover, but I sometimes I just don't want to deal with the micromanagement of pets and toddlers. So I forego that and play with my adults and my children. I would like to see the, the, a huge difference in teenage and adulthood. So this is what I'm expecting with university. I realized that university is supposed to be your young adult or like pre like between the young adult and teen years. So I'm hoping that we'll get an upgrade on what teens and adults look like, like the differences, because right now a teen looks like an adult, a a young adult and vice versa. You can't really tell the difference unless you hover over them and say, okay, that's a teen because there's plenty of times in the game I've played and I'm like, oh, who is that? And then I'm like, oh, that's a teenager. They look like a young adult. So I do miss being able to, well, like I think the Sims 2 or even the Sims 3 where there were clothes only available for teens. I would also, speaking of which clothes, I would also love to see clothes that are more suitable for uh, older adults and seniors because how many seniors in the real world are walking around in a crop top? Not too many. Not too many. Um, even some older adults like me, not too many of us are walking around in belly shirts in, um, I know, skinny, well, skinny jeans, yeah. But uh, we're just not. So I would love to see some more older adult choices as far as clothing is concerned. Even some hairstyles, even though most of the hairstyles are friendly for all. So that's good. But give me some more jewelry options and uh, clothing options that are suitable for my older Sims and my elderly Sims. Because... um, just there's not a lot of, out there, especially with like formal wear and um, casual wear, things like that. Uh, and yes, formal wear, please, please, please more formal wear. There's not a lot of formal dresses, even for the men, the men clo- men's clothing is a little lackluster. So I would like, I love CC, but CC can bog down your game, especially if you don't have a good gaming computer. So I would like to be able to use a lot of the uh, clothing items in the game without getting, um, not bored per se, but the choices are a little lackluster. So I don't know. I'm not trying to complain. I'm not. I, I Like I said, I really love what they're doing. The, the, the Sims... Uh, gurus have come a long way with hair. Um, let's, you know, let's hope that skins will be updated because the darker skin complexions are looking a little ashy still. Yeah. And even, uh, complexions that are like my tones, like olive, they look a little blotchy, but I mean, I use a lot of CC, when it comes to skin. So to me, that's okay. I guess it doesn't matter, but because of that, but I shouldn't have to use custom content to, uh, fix that issue. Anyways. Um, I do really, really appreciate what the Sims, um, the Sims gurus are doing. Please don't take my, um, my constructive criticism as me being unappreciative. Those people work hard. They're away from their families for hours and hours on end, you know, and they sacrifice that to, I know it's a company, so it's not like they're not getting anything out of it, but they are sacrificing their time. And the the employees of Maxis, they love what they do. That's why they're doing what they're doing. They wouldn't be doing it if they didn't love it. 
At least I don't think. Although most some of us are doing things that we don't love. That's a lesson in itself. Anyways, so that's all I have for you guys today. I know I didn't talk a lot about the build. Um, that's just how it goes with me. Sometimes I just go off on these tangents, but you can see that it speaks for itself. I do have some pictures at the tail end of the video. If you're interested in looking at those again, this is uploaded on the gallery. You can find me at the pixelated Twix on the gallery. Also, if you're interested in following me on Twitter, following me on Twitter, um, I am at pixelated Inc. I will make sure to link that in the description box so you can easily find me. Um, and yeah, I don't really update quite as much as I used to on Twitter, but I will hop on every now and then to chit chat with folks. So if you're interested in coming to have a good old conversation with me, by all means, give me a follow and uh, we'll chat. We can we can chat. I don't bite. I promise you. I am probably one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. And that's not me tooting my own horn. I'm just naturally a happy-go-lucky nice person. I totally did not mean to go on this huge tangent, but that's just how it goes with people who with ADD. I can get on like off track just like that in a matter of seconds and have no problem getting back on track to where I need to be. However, that is all that I have for you guys today with regards to this build, because I don't have much to say. Um, it's a restaurant and <laughs> that's really it. I gave you a little history behind it. Um, I do hope that you enjoy this should you decide to download it. Um, before I go, if you're not a member of the family and you would love to join the family reunion, by all means, click that sub that sub button below and the notification bell. So you'll know every time I upload, I upload at least three times a week. I also keep my schedule updated in the description box and all the goodies are there. If you're interested in more Sims content, definitely follow all my friends. I have them listed in the description box. These are people that I watch consistently. Um, I do have others, but um, they're probably some of my favorites. They are some of my favorites. So I highly recommend you guys giving them a, a, a look-see, especially if you're into speed builds or if you're into um, LPs, they're there for you. So by all means, check them out, tell them I sent you and give them some love. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. And until next time, ciao.